Hey, it's Dr. Trish Lee. Let me tell you about a new neurofeedback study that just came out April 2020 by one of the leading researchers in the area. This awesome new study shows that there is a medium to large size effect that's very good when it comes to research for children with ADHD to improve their symptoms and feel and perform better with a standard neurofeedback protocol of approximately 30 to 40 sessions. This is right in line with what we do at Lee Brain and Spine uh, in our Brain Shift program. And this study confirms that most people who go through a neurofeedback program have great success. Remission rates are in the 32 to 45% range six months later. Now that's low and I will tell you at Lee Brain and Spine and in my neuro coaching programs at drtrishlee.com, we have safety nets in place to try to prevent that for most people. I believe that remission rate can be much lower if a person receives neuro coaching on top of their neurofeedback program, which is exactly why we do it that way. So go and check out that study on my website, drtrishlee.com, because there's new studies and that show that neurofeedback's an awesome option. What I was going to say is, haters are always gonna hate, and what the haters say is that there's not enough science to prove that neurofeedback works. This new study highlights some of the older studies, and they're not even that old. There's a great meta-analysis from a year ago that looks at many studies over time and shows that by and large, neurofeedback is just a strong treatment option. Now, it doesn't fit mainstream, take a pill and you know feel a little better in a few minute uh, framework, but it is shown to have lasting success. This new article, which there will be a link to on my website at drtrishley.com, shows the costs of children with ADHD over their lifetime, the costs of medication, they're higher a medication costs more than a neurofeedback program. And I know people always get leery about paying out of pocket for a neurofeedback program, but this study shows that it works and it shows that it's more cost effective than medication when kids are young. And remember, medication doesn't change the brain pattern. It just dulls it in the meantime. Neurofeedback is shown to actually change the underlying brain pattern that causes ADHD and it can literally change your child's trajectory of development. So go check that study out and remember, control your brain or it will control you.